Wild Scott Bess here with some DFS picks for today, 7-16-2021. We got a full slate, 15 games, a lot of games. You have a lot of games. You know, you kind of have to go with your strategy and stick to it because a lot of different things are going to happen when you have this many games in place. So let's get right into it. At pitcher, I'm looking at Robbie Ray for Toronto. He's going against Texas. His projection tonight is 16.6 fantasy points. He has a 3.13 ERA on season. He has 130 strikeouts. Uh, he's pitching 5.9 innings per game. You just notice his last two games, he's actually pitched seven innings, which is good. His last three games, fantasy point wise, are 28, four, uh, 20, and 41. His average fantasy points on the year is 22. Uh, they are one for 16 against Mr. Ray. I know it's a small sample size. Uh, but I like that. Uh, they're batting 0 .063, they being the Texas Rangers. Uh, his last five against the Rangers, he's gotten 0, 0 12, 28, and 19. Uh, I like Mr. Ray in his position tonight, 9,300. That means he's, you can get him into your, into your lineups. So I like Robbie Ray at the pitcher position tonight. At catcher, I'm mm -hmm. looking at Omar Narvez for Milwaukee. Uh, his projection on the night is 7.5 fantasy points. Uh, he has eight homers on a year. He's batting 300. He's getting around three at-bats per game. Uh, his last three games, fantasy point-wise, is 0, 10, and 0. I like players coming off of 0. Uh, the, bat the pitcher he's facing, he's batting 500 against. He's 2 for 4 with one double and one home run. Salary's 4,500 on DraftKings tonight. I like uh, Narvez, Mr. Narvez, in this position tonight. So I want to try to get him into my lineups at the catcher position. Let's look at the first base position. I'm looking at Freddie Freeman. He is expensive. He's 6,200, but he's probably one of the best choices tonight. Possible core pick. Uh, his projection for tonight is 9.5 fantasy points. He has 19 homers on the year. He's batting 274. He's getting about 3.7 at bats per game. His last three games, fantasy point wise, are 18, 21, and 9. He's 4 for 10 against the pitcher he's facing tonight. Three singles, one double. His last five against Tampa Bay, 4, 9, 0, 29, and 0. I like Mr. Freeman in his position tonight. They're depending on a lot more since Mr. Ronald Kerr Jr. is out, and I think he will produce. So, Mr. Freeman, even though he's 6,200, is someone I definitely want to look at getting into my lineups tonight at the first base position. Let's look at the second base position. At second base, I'm looking at New York Yankees, DJ Lemu. Uh, the Yankees apparently have some COVID issues. Uh, I think a few of their players tested positive. I think six players tested positive, including Aaron Judd. So it's probably something to keep your eye on. But as of right now, the game is still on and DJ is still playing. His projection for tonight is 9.3 fantasy points. Uh, he's seven home runs on the season. He's batting 270. He's getting around four at bats per game. His last three games fantasy point wise is 17, three and 10. Uh, he's five for 16 against his pitcher. He's batting 312, four singles, one double. Uh, his last five against Boston, three, two, seven, 25, and eight. So uh, definitely he's someone I want to look at getting in my lineup tonight at second base. Let's look at the uh, third base position. We're looking at Ryan McCone for, for Colorado. Uh, his projection for tonight is uh, 7.3 fantasy points. He's batting 255 on a year. Uh, he's getting around 3.5 at bats per game. His last three games, fantasy point wise, uh, 15, 12, and 2. He's 4,800 on DraftKings. He's batting 500 against the pitcher. He's facing three singles, one double, one home run. I like the over run, the over under run uh, projection of 11 and a half. That means five to six at bats if things go the way he's supposed to, and with him making great contact against this pitcher, I'm real confident to get uh, Ron in our lineups tonight. Uh, hopefully he can get on base a few times and get a few hits. So uh, Ron is someone I definitely want to look at getting into my lineups tonight at the uh, third base position. Let's look at shortstop. 
at the shortstop position. I'm looking at Alexander Bogarts for Boston. Uh, his projection on that is 8.4 fancy points. He has 15 homers on the year. He's batting 321. He's getting around 3.8 at bats per game. His last three games, fancy point wise, 5, 16, and 16. He's 6 for 14 against this pitcher, batting 429. Three singles, two doubles, one home run. Uh, his last five against the Yankees are 7, 14, 11, 17, and 12. Again, have to kind of watch this game, but it looks like it's still going on, on going on as of right now, even though they had some uh, COVID issues. So Xander Bogarts is someone I definitely want to look into getting him to my lineup tonight at the shortstop position. Let's look at the outfield. Outfield, I'm probably taking uh, a popular choice and I think one of the better choices for today which is Mookie Betts for the uh, Dodgers. His projection for tonight is 9.8 fantasy points. He has 13 homers on a year. He's batting 256. He's getting around 3.9 at bats per game. His last three games, fantasy point-wise, 2, 35, 26. The reason I like him is he's hot. Uh, he's hot right before the break and in, and, he's, and hopefully that carries over after the break. And he has very good history against this pitcher he's facing. He's batting 500, 5 for 10. Uh, it's two singles, one double, two home runs. Uh, to me, he's a possible core play at 5,500. Uh, I, I like the over run uh, total. He gets on base. He's going to stay. I like the over under run projection of 11 and a half. Uh, he's going to get on base. He's going to steal some bases. If Mookie gets on, he's going to provide points. So I like him. He's hot right now. So Mookie Best is someone I definitely want to get in my lineups in the outfield. Those are my picks for the day. Hey, if my picks help you, go ahead and hit that like button. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. Into the next video. Peace.